and the effects of tagging on the pump. Course direction is for uh, their employees to gain basic understanding of how a rod, rod pump works, and this, of course, should take about one hour. Which, by the way, uh, we have put the school on for every employee out of their Highway 80 and Midkip offices and their San Angelo district. And then um, all the new hires, of course, but every, everybody that works in the field has been through this. Um, we also had the uh, engineering group come out from Las Colinas, and we did it for those guys, too. And we've also um, tweaked this and taken Pioneer stuff off of it. We've done it for BP and Devon and um, Legacy operating. John, did it reduce your failure rate? Um, it reduced tagging significantly. Okay. Um, as you'll see later in this presentation, there are some standards that were set by Pioneer that said you won't do this and you won't do that. Basically, this is what we want you to do. These are the steps that you're going to take um, in the event you can't make one pump. Okay? And yes, it's reduced them significantly. Roland, he's a uh, technician for Pioneer, Roland Ramos. And um, they've taken it another step and they try to witness just about every failure that comes into the shop. And one of the first things we look for is tagging. Okay, new skill learned, this basic understanding of a rod pump. What will this new skill allow them to do? Is understand how damage to the pump can occur. All right, so what is the benefit? Less rod tubing and pump failures, increase the mean time between failures, and lower failure rates. And of course, this will increase Pioneer's bottom line. This is a pretty cool chart here, and, and um, I'm proud to be part of the team on this thing. Right back here in 1995, um, let's see, with the um, technician program getting started and, and uh, new technology, you know, being able to see what's going on down hole, things of that nature, we started a, uh, a program to reduce rod tubing and pump failures. And at that time, with a well count of, of give or take 3,400 wells, we were experiencing right around 111 failures a month, okay, with an average mean time of about 12 months, okay. And as you can see, this trend has gone up in terms of the runtime. And currently, which this, this um, is a little bit outdated, it's about uh, four months old, currently we're at about 48 months, 49 months mean time between failures. Well, also, if you look up here, where we were averaging all those failures per month back in 95, and today uh, between the combined areas with a well count of about 5,400, we're averaging about 98 failures. So we have significantly reduced this. The, the whole uh, idea about this, um, this training and this presentation was to take it to the next step, okay? Again, new hires, new drills, caused a lot of issues with tagging, and um, it's one of the reasons why we brought this together. Okay, it's going to have a <clears throat> an open forum. The key takeaways will be um, effects of tagging a well and tracking the performance back to the lease operator. Um, pictures, we use pictures all the time, take pictures of damage and then we email it to the appropriate foreman. Uh, we also show, uh, try to give them a little bit of information about what's going on down hole with the down hole gas separation, things of that nature. And it's um, a very hands-on class in that we have pieces of uh, damaged pumps, rods, tubing that we pass around for all the guys to see. And I'll show you um, some, some pictures of that here in a little bit. And then, of course, we have a Harvest and Fisher pump model, like what you see out here at, the, uh, in the, at their booth. It's actually working, and it really helps the, the young guys especially figure out what's going on with their pump. Okay, how we're going to be sure that this new skill is being used is when a rod pump comes into the pump shop, any damage that has occurred will be communicated with the foreman of that well. What measure we're going to use to track success? By failure rates, by area or foreman. Um, they have all their um, foreman separated basically with certain units and um, certain well counts. And we track each foreman and their 
failure rate and the number of failures per quarter, per year, things of that nature. And of course, how will we know the skills being used by the number of failures associated with each lease operator? Okay, Rodney, you want to do this part? Um, this, this part of this, the class that we gave is, 